G'day, I'm Tom from Purpose Built Moto. We're going to be running through a three button switch install on this 2009 Triumph. The first step is to get the cable soldered onto your push buttons and then get the switch block mounted on your handlebars. First thing we've got to do is remove the buttons from the switch housing and solder on our cables. Then we've got to go and mark the drill holes in our handlebars so we can run all the cables internally. When you're soldering these switches up, you want to keep the profile on the solder joint as low as possible. To do that, I strip the cable about 10 millimeters back from the very tip and then we join it onto the switch by threading it through the hole in the switch and folding it over back on itself. That gives you a great join and it's, it's a lot more durable than just soldering it onto the side. Another thing to note when you're doing these solder joints is that it's really important to not heat up the push button switch too much. Too much heat into the switch can damage the switch life. It still works, but it might not last quite as long. So once you have your two joins done and your cables flowing off the switch in the right direction, we can solder them up. So soldering these switches up, you can see how fucking shaky my hands are, but you just want to get a nice bit of heat in there so the solder will flow over the switch and cable evenly. There we go. Without putting too much heat. As soon as the, that solder starts flowing through, you're done. Once you've got your soldering finished, leave your solder joints bare. The heat shrink goes on after you put the switch into the switch block. Yeah, I might hide it. Actually, my beard's not big enough. Can you see that? Uh... Once you solder the buttons up, you need to measure out your grip length, which I use at about 130 millimeters from the tip of the bar. Place your switch block and mark the three holes that you need for the switches. Once you've got your three switch holes marked, you need to make another mark dead center in between the far left two switches. The way that these switch blocks are designed, in between these two switches, you need to drill a hole and that's where the cable for the two switches go. Before you drill the bars out, you need to center pop the holes. Normally I do it on the bike, but so you can see what I'm doing, I've just taken it off. When you're installing the push buttons in your switch block, it helps to put them in a vise. I cut these cables long enough so they can reach back to where I'm putting all my electrical connections, which is under the seat. Once your buttons are put in place, it's time to slide the heat shrink over your solder joints and shrink it down. Just got to take care that this, the heat shrink goes down all the way over the solder joint. You might have to loosen the buttons off slightly to get it all the way down. It's a little bit fiddly, but not impossible. These three push buttons are all switched to ground. I'm going to join the ground cable, so I only have one common running through the handlebar. It just saves you cabling and, and mess in the handlebars. So I've stripped that back and twisted it up together and now I'll solder it and get it heat shrunk. Once your cables are all heat shrunk and ready to go in the handlebars, you just need to feed the cables through and fix the switch down. One thing to take note of when you're fitting these switch blocks is that your cables don't get pinched on the holes. If you take a close up in there, you'll see that I have the cables seated directly in the center of the switch block and they fit in nice and easily. Right. 
ですね。